What's up, ladies and gentlemen? It's your boy King King053, Mr. Easy Money. And we back at it again with another one. And this time around, I want to cover this thing that happened 13 years ago when Oscar Pretorius shot dead. I think with three shots or something like that. His then girlfriend or fiance or whatever, um, River Stian Camp. And um uh on 2013 it was on february uh, the 13th on valentine's day um oh is yeah yeah on valentine's day and um he was then sentenced on 2014 uh for 13 and a half years not actually 13 and a half years 13 years and five months and he has served uh, over seven years now of that of that <clears throat> of that sentence and is now eligible for parole <clears throat> you know our courts are just pro pro crime i'm sorry to say this <clears throat> oscar and uh, river's family are the lucky ones that are getting the spotlight all of us that are watching this channel know of people that killed people in our location and they're still walking out free. Our justice system is just corrupt. And <clears throat> it, is, um, it is saddening the amount of years that you will get for killing someone. Seven years in prison and you want to go out after killing someone's daughter. This is pure rubbish. This is pure rubbish. Oscar will be making his um his um his presentation to the parole board to say, listen, guys, I've served half my sentence. Because in South Africa, if you serve half your sentence, if they give you 20 years and you serve 10, then you can apply for parole and you go out. And the reason for that is because they want to uh, they want to to keep space in the prisons otherwise if they allow everyone to serve their full term there won't be any spaces in the prison that's one of their reasons the other reason is because they are doing a rehabilitation um program uh, with with the inmates trying to hear um, what is the word i'm looking for to reignite them with the communities they're coming from so they they feel like uh, after after that that um that time served they would have spoken to you giving you enough programs for you to be ready for the the community but one thing that they teach you is to show remorse okay oscar was acting in the in the court case when he was uh, being trialed and uh, river's mother said she, she just wants the truth and i'm sorry to say this to river's mother you're not going to get the truth oscar can't come out now um seven years later after killing your daughter and come out with the truth there is no truth that is going to come out that truth will send him back to prison because he'll have to change the initial statement that he he, po he gave the police so there's no truth that is going to come out a uh, beautiful uh river is uh, camp was shot <laughs> dead for 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 you know for challenging the boyfriend and the boyfriend they when they, they they took the phones they saw that there was history the friends testified in prison that oscar was being violent to the poor girl and um now she's dead and now seven years later probably before the end of this year or early next year pitorius can see himself um going back home probably putting on his, his steel legs and trying to run again that is what the justice system does. We cannot depend on this. And like I said, we can cry all we want. And uh, because when you are famous, you get the spotlight. There are many other cases. There was another lady that, that killed the flabber, stabbed him to death. I don't know how many holes, seven holes or something like that, stabbed flabber to death. That lady is out. She's out of prison. She's speaking. She was on the McG podcast speaking. You kill someone in South Africa, it's okay. It's okay. You steal money, it's all, it's all right. The guy that kill, killed Chris Hani never showed any remorse, never told us who said he must kill that person, never did, a, never, you know, never did anything. And 
you cannot apologize without he did uh, give an apology but you cannot apologize without giving us the story why did you kill my husband why did you kill my father Christian was shot dead boom, on the head just like uh, aka bah, assassinated the guy is out the first thing that um, George uh, Zondo did when he, he, he assembled in this office he, he signed the release letter for that guy. That is what is happening. We have uh, this uh, Tavo uh, Bester or whatever he is, this, this rapist that is now out in, the, in, the, in prison. They took a poor other prisoner and they banned him trying to hide it, trying to act as if, excuse me, trying to act as, as if it was a Tavo Bester. It was not him. The G4 company uh, is was in charge of all that saga. Nothing happened there. You think they're gonna find him? Do you think? Do you think they're gonna find him? I saw that they they said with the AKA story that they are making progress in terms of finding the killers of AKA. How many times did you hear that about Senzo Mayua? When the people that were in the house of Senzo Mayua are still roaming free, they are pregnant and giving birth. It's nice. They they don't want to tell us who killed Senzo. I can go on and on and on in South Africa. We are not safe. But death comes to us all. I was in a funeral of a friend of mine. His wife passed away in Nigeria. Uh, she was going to the uh, TB Joshua church, but she passed away at the airport, not at the church. You remember there was a church building that fell on people? No, she was not part of that. In fact, it was after that uh, where she went and she, when she got at the, at, the, at the airport, she just collapsed and, and passed away. And they called this guy, uh, the wife, your wife has passed away. The body had to come and everything. At the funeral, the pastor said, we people must not choose where we want to do. We want to die. We must not choose an inconvenient death. A fast, a slow death, a death in a hospital, a death in a car crash. You can't choose. We die either way. It's the path, is the is the path that we all have to walk. It's part of life. Death is a path to an awakening on the other side. You cannot go to the other side without being without dying. Even Jesus Himself had to die. You have to die. So I don't have a problem uh, in terms of dying. I don't fear death because I, you cannot prepare for it. You don't know how it's going to come. I can just be uh, somewhere and someone hijacks me and kills me. I can be in my home. I feel uh, uh, it's come and they break in and they stab me. You don't know how you're going to die, ladies and gentlemen. And I want to, I I want to tell you guys that death, death is going to come for all of us. So don't don't even think about it. Prepare for it, and and uh, but don't let it stress you. It's going to come. So I was saying that to say this to uh, Rivers' mother. You're not going to get closure unless you give it to yourself. This guy, uh, with also Chris Hannes as wife, you can see this woman. So many years later, she's still bitter. She has a right to be. She has a right to be. But you're not going to get closer holding on to those to those things. Let go. Let go. Mama, uh, stay and come. Your daughter is gone. She's not coming back. Whatever Pretoria say, she's not coming back. The only thing we can hope for is that he spends more time in prison up until that little 13 years they gave him. It's your boy, King053. Guys, go on the comment section. Tell me about cases that you have experienced in your community and maybe some, some of you in your families. I've got a lot of stories in my families also I can tell you that are shocking where there is video evidence and the police still could not prosecute uh, the person successfully. It's a boy King 053, Mr. Easy Money. Until the next time, see you guys. Salute.